Now let's talk about other enhancement types. We have the menu exits. Some SAP menus contain entries prepared by SAP which you can link to your own functionality, your own customer source code and activate. You also have screen exits. Some screens contain SAP subscreens areas in which you can integrate your own screens. We have the field exits. Customized input checks on SAP screens fields can always be implemented also. Without modifications by means of a field exit. This does not require any preparation by SAP. Furthermore, you can override the field documentation and field labels of an SAP data element in the ABAP dictionary. So, you can override the field documentation. You can replace the SAP field documentation that is displayed when the user presses F1 with your own text. And you can override the field labels. You can override the different field labels for a SAP data element with your own text. So let's take a look at an example of each of these other enhancement types. Now let's take a look at an example for a menu exit. So our requirement is to add an option to the ABAP editor or transaction SE38 menu to open the CMOD transaction. So basically, let's open SE38. Let's take a look at any program here. Just go ahead and click on display on any program. Then, once it opens, in the utilities menus or in the go to or environment menu, I want to add another option at the bottom to navigate to the C mode transaction. So I need to modify this menu. This is a standard menu of the ABAP editor. So how do I do this? And I take a look at any at any program, any given program, for example this program display. At the, I'm sorry, I take a look at its source code display. Now it, the ABAP editor is open, the source code editor. And in my ABAP editor, if I go, if I click on utilities, I can see that I have the option that I added, the navigate to the C mod option. So I click, and it navigates to my C mod transaction. So that's how you can use menu exits to add functionalities to the standard menu of SAP. Okay, so now we want to create a screen exit. So we're going to modify the standard transaction ME22N. This transaction is a transaction used to create a purchase order. So initially, if we go into this transaction and if we take a look at any purchase document and we go to the items we can expand here and we navigate to the last tab is condition control so what we want to do is an add another tab when we can add one field of our own a custom field so how do we modify this so then I open my ME22 and transaction and as you can see I'm going to make this screen a customer data tab was added that it was not here before and there we have our field with a custom value so that's a way you can use screen exits to add screen elements to standard screens so let's learn how to create a field exit we're going to create a field exit for transaction ME22N for the field vendor and the requirement is to output a message when enter is pressed on the vendor so 
let's go to transaction ME22N and when I press enter on the vendor a message should be must be displayed on this bar so how do we do that let's go back and we go to ME22N and now we're going to press enter on the vendor and as you can see our field lexer for vendor is displayed so that's how you create field exits in a map you can overwrite the field documentation and field labels of a SAP data element in the ABAP dictionary overriding the field documentation you can replace the SAP field documentation that is displayed when the user presses F1 with your own text and you can override the field labels you can override the different field labels of a SAP data element with your own text so let's take a look at another field exit example and how to overwrite some field labels in SAP. We also have the field exit. So, as an example, we have for a transaction MK01. This transaction is used to create a vendor. So, let's go into this transaction MK01. Vendor leave it blank, purchasing organization leave it blank, and account group leave it blank. But if it's, if it asks for an account group, just choose anyone from the search help and then press enter. In this screen, just specify a name, so my vendor, and just make sure to fill the require fields. How do I know which are the require fields? Because they have this little icon with a check on it. So the city. San Francisco the country USA US now as you can see in this screen we have this tax information we have my tax number 2 tax number 3 and tax number 4 so as a field exit the field exit lets us rename the labels for this standard objects so for example I don't want this to be displayed as my tax number 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 two I only want this as number two tax two tax three and tax four so I need to change these three labels how do I do that well first of all I need to take a look at the my vendor San Francisco US enter and then as you can see the text elements were changed now it is tax tech tax 2 tax 3 and tax 4 and that's how you can implement field exits inside the sap system